Jesus' name we pray. Thank you, Heavenly Father, for hearing the prayers of your children. Our sister shall be helped by the Lord. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. We are taking our study from Psalms 118. Psalm 118. From verse 1 to verse Verse 1 to verse 29. What, Psalm 118. I read from verse 1 to verse 4. Oh, give thanks unto the Lord. For he is good, because his mercy endureth forever. God is very merciful. Thank him that your case has not gone beyond repair. Thank him that your case has not gone beyond handling by God. Thank him that he has not cast you away forever. He will visit you again. All you need to do is repentance. Complete repentance. Full repentance. And a willingness to do his will. Call upon him and say, Lord, I want to do your will. You will see him come again. That's good. Let Israel now say that his mercy endured forever. Israel, the whole nation, he has dealt with them very mercifully. How many times did they fail? How many times did they turn away from God? And God shot them mercy. Even when he allowed enemies to attack them. When they cried to him, he turns again. He turned again to them. Because it's a merciful God. And this mercy endures. No circumstance can overcome it. It endures. For one day, from the beginning of the day to the end of the day. For one week, from the beginning of the week to the end of the week. For one month, from the beginning of the month to the end of the month. is enduring. For one year, from the beginning of the year to the end of the year, is is merciful, enduring in mercy. For how many years now? For beginning one year, two years, to to a big number of years, his mercy endures forever. Let the house of Aaron now say that his mercy endured forever. The, ho the house of Aaron is the house of preachers. The house of the high priests. The priests that rule over the people of God. He is merciful unto them. Patient with them. Many times would have blocked them from serving him. Many times would have blocked them. But he showed them mercy. When Jesus visited us day before yesterday in the morning, he said something, and that thing stuck into my heart. 
He said, My father does not take iniquity. If you do anything wrong, is, he tells me, just get that person out. Get him out. He cannot take iniquity. All your righteousness is forgotten. Forget about all he has done. Why did he not maintain purity? But I am Jesus in human body. I have human feelings. So I am the one interceding before the Father. It's me saying they are human beings. Let's, let me be more patient. Let me endure. Give them chance. Having known the infirmities of man. Let me endure. Let me give them chance. That is why some of these people are in sin, but are still in service. But if I return to my throne as the father, no mercy. The mercy I am showing now is because the end of time has not come. I am sure mercy, maybe they will repent, being in human form like them. But when I resume, my, I, come, I come to my throne as God, no mercy. Perfection is what is required. Be ye perfect, even as your Father is perfect. Therefore, don't take for granted the patience of God, which is being exercised towards you because Jesus became man and understood our infirmity. For we have not an high priest which is not touched with our infirmities, but one like us who have been touched by all kinds of the thing, of things we pass through. Let's come before him and seek thorough righteousness. Don't continue in saying you won't escape eventually. Come before him and seek salvation. Seek renewal. Seek perfection. Otherwise, the almighty God in his throne says, when I sit on my throne, I don't pity people. I need perfection because perfection is the throne forever. Perfection. Is this strong forever? Let them now say that fear the Lord. Let them now that fear the Lord say that his mercy endured forever. Let them that fear God. That, yes, is this just mercy to those that fear God, even to the perfect? When he misunderstands, did he not show mercy to Moses? He showed him mercy. Showed mercy to Moses. All that fear God, but maintain that fear of God to the end. Though, as you, you can join now and say, Rejoice not over me, O my enemies. Though I fall, I shall rise. The righteous shall fall seven times, yet shall he rise because of the interceding Savior. But don't think that you will be falling like that and make it to heaven. Never. Heaven requires perfection. For without holiness, no man shall see the Lord. No man. So we have read verse 1 to 4. We are going to read verse 5 to verse 10. I called upon the Lord in distress. The Lord answered me and set me in a large place. Does this promise you healing for your sickness? Does this promise you deliverance from the oppressor or from your oppressors? 
I called upon the Lord in distress. Confusion. Pain. Sorrow. When I was pushed to the wall. Yes. The Lord answered me. And set me in a large place. He grant me, granted me large salvation. It's like a vehicle moving in a, a, a wide road. The fear of accident is no more there. It's wide road. The Lord granted me full salvation. Yes. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Everybody say this. One, two, go. The Lord is on my side. I will not fear. What can man do unto me? Say it again. Is not God on our side? Is not God with us? Then why should we be afraid of any man? What can he do? What can he do? He can do nothing except God allowed him. On his own, man cannot do anything. And God will not allow him because God is on my side. So God will not allow him. So what's my problem? Peace. Peace. Don't live in fear of man. Fear of what he can do. Fear of his of harm. No. Don't. The Lord is on your side. What can man do unto you? Yes. Yeah. The Lord taketh my part with them that help me. Therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. Go to that scripture and read it. Psalm 118 verse 7. One, two, go. Yes. It, the Lord is on your side. And the Lord wants to help you. The, now, God has joined those people who want to help you. God has joined those people who want to help you. Even if it is God alone. Do you need any man? Again? But altogether, men are there and God has joined them. You are going to see the reward of your enemy. Pity him for choosing to be your enemy. Pity him. Because you are going to see divine judgment. Upon the person who has chosen that he will be your enemy. Yes. That is what the Lord is saying. In fact, therefore shall I see my desire upon them that hate me. There is a particular way you wish your enemy should... should a particular way you want your enemy to be treated. Watch it. Your desire. You, there's something you wish to be done to your enemy. Watch it. You will see it. Your enemy will be treated in a way you will be satisfied. And say, exactly. Yes. 
exactly what I have in my mind. Exactly what I wish in my heart. Hallelujah. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. It is better. That the problem with human beings is they remove their eyes from God and are looking to eh, my brother, eh, my sister, eh, my uncle. Okay, I have uh, my sister's uh, mother. My sister's, uh, um, no, my mother's sister. I, that's their problem. So now, people are no more trusting in God to do something for them. To get a job for them, no. They are now thinking, which is the best hospital to go to? Are you thinking of God that God can heal you? That this thing you are talking about hospital is possible you cannot even reach the hospital. Go handle it. Why should your mind be hospital? Hospital. That doctor, which doctor? It's not that they, you, we don't need them. We need them. It's not that we should not go there if the Lord directs. But where is your mind so full of man? Man, man. Man will help me. Man will do this. Man. He said, no. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in man. That's it. Then, verse, na, verse 8, it is better, I mean verse 9, it is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Man, princes, rulers, people in high position. People in high position. Don't look to them. I remember in the, which year in 2011 2011 my house rent was expiring I didn't have money so my house then, I didn't know where to get this money from. Hey! I had just come to, okay, I, 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 we had started the ministry in Abuja. Where would I get money now? How much was the house rent at that time? How much? Okay, 500,000 naira. Ah, at this time, the names of people started coming. If you go to that place, thank God, God knows how to protect somebody's nakedness. Because now I am seeing those people, the, uh, the, my mind was directing me to that. Thank God you didn't go there. They would have told you stories and sympathize with you. And join your name to the names of the pastors who are disturbing people for money. And what do you, do you go to this, your cousin, family, and ask them to assist? No, they will, they will do something. I said, no. Senator had come into the movement newly. And I knew he would be very ready and happy. That I'm asking him for that help. I said, no. I will not go to Senator. God, give me money to pay this rent. I will not go to anybody and be asking him. No. I kept on praying. And the period was getting close. 
I think it remained two months or one month. How God caused that money to come was another thing. It is better to trust in the Lord than to put confidence in princes. Princes. Mighty people. Don't do that. Trust in the Lord. Yes. And God will like it. Because the Bible says, He that cometh to God must believe that he is. And that he is a rewarder of them that diligently seek him. It's a God that answers prayers. All nations, verse 10, compassed me about. But in the name of the Lord will I destroy them. How many nations? How many nations? All nations. Surround me. Not one person. If it's one person, it's a simple thing. Raise the name of Jesus. Bah! But this one is multitudes. You go here, they are the same against you. Go here, go here. Stand to the name of the Lord. Stand to the name of the Lord. Stand to the name of the Lord. In the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Which means, let your enemies be in multitude. It's even cheaper to handle them. When your enemies are many, very simple. Because by the time you hit the first person, he picks race, everybody will pick race. Is that not so? Let one cow pick race because you hit it. All cows will start running. So, in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. You have the name of Jesus. Nations are human beings. But they are enemies. The name of the Lord will give you victory over them. Verse 11, they compassed me about. Yeah, they compassed me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. In my front, at my back, at my left hand, left hand side, right hand side, they surrounded me. Or they surround me in the name of the Lord. Stand to that name. Don't move. Don't shake. Don't mind that you call the name that's still standing there. Don't bother about that. It's a spiritual battle. They will not be standing there if that demon troubled them. We're not with them. Call the name. You are dealing with the demon that forwarded them. And that demon cannot withstand the name of the Lord. At the time, all those bold faces will collapse. All those bold language will collapse. They will pick race. Stand to the name of Jesus. In the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Yes. Verse 11. They compassed me about. Yeah. They compassed me about. But in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. Verse 12. They compassed me about like bees. They are quenched as the fire of thorns. For in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They compassed me about. Yeah. 
they compassed me about like bees. Do you know how bees surround people? But he said, don't worry. If you set fire on thorns, this grass that produces sharp, sharp teeth, I'm, uh, I'm, uh, do, do, what do we call it? This, uh, do you, will the fire burn, burn, uh, do any burning? No. The fire, because all the leaves fall down, the fire may just pick leaves, leaves. But the real thing will not be burned. And the fire will not go anywhere. Because it cannot burn the, the stump, the stem of that, of that, uh, uh, ton, tony tree, or what do we call it? It cannot burn the stem of it. It will quench. So the bees that surround you cannot burn you at all. They, in the name of the Lord, I will destroy them. They are quenched as the fire of tons. When you set fire, they, you have this type of hard grass here. When you set fire on them, even in dry season, they don't burn. Just little, little, like, and you, the tree is still there. They don't burn. You, because fire cannot burn the steam. Fire cannot destroy you. Satan cannot touch your mainframe. And yet you turn at them in the name of the Lord, you will destroy them. That is what the scripture it's shame. All of us. Let's read verse 13 together. One, two, go. Can you see? The force was high. It's as if they brought this one tried. It didn't work. He went and brought other people to join energy and went for putting great pressure on you to fall. Trust pushing you to fall. But what happened? He said, But the Lord helped me that I didn't give up, that I didn't fall by the demonic pressure put upon me, it was because God helped me. Otherwise, I would have fallen straight. The pressure was hard. Satan put pressure on me. It's like bringing bulldozer. I am start pushing sand to where I am to clear me of the bulldozer. But wong, 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 I didn't fall. <laughs> Why? The power behind me is more than the power of the bulldozer. The Lord helped me. The Lord will help you. Whatever is pushing you shall push, push, and you will stand. In Jesus' name. Again, in verse 14. The Lord is my strength and song and is become my salvation. God is my strength and nobody can overcome God. And that is how much my strength is. God is my song. I sing redemption song because of God. I sing praises to Him. I sing and rejoice because of what He has done in my life. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Jehovah Jireh has done me well. Come and join me, sing hallelujah. Amen. Jehovah Nessie has done me well. Come and join me. 
Amen. Amen. Come and join me. Oh yes, oh yes. The Lord is my song. Because of what he does in my life. If it were not go healing sicknesses and diseases in my body. Hey, where could I have been now? He's faithful. If you were not God, if you were not God delivering me, all the bad dreams of my life, hey, and the enemy has right to perform them. Where will I have been? If the Lord were not my stay, all this while I don't have money. How could I have lived? That's testimonies of people. The Lord is my song. Now He has become my salvation. Every day. I know that whatever problem comes my way, God will serve me. It's now my salvation. In any matter, I know I have a Savior. When I turn there, I will be saved. The Lord is my salvation. The voice of rejoicing and salvation is in the tabernacles of the righteous. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. The voice of rejoicing. Now, read that verse 15, everybody. One, two, go. Ah, oh, this is great. This is wonderful. It's just that the song is like the song that says, Count your blessings, name them one by one. Count your blessings, see what God has done. Count your blessings, name them one by one. And it will surprise you what the Lord as the amen because every day we see the hand of the lord we see what the lord has done we see what he has performed we praise him the voice of rejoicing is in the hand of house of the righteous hey let's thank the lord let's clap our hands what has happened there god has done another thing there God has done another thing there. <laughs> it's like you have somebody who can make people laugh. So that person visited the house of a person. Or oh, well, is a member of that family. In a little way, <laughs> everybody's laughing. Say, ah, that man is there. That man is there. <laughs> Praise the Lord. So joy in the house because God is there. God has done something. God has done something. That person who just entered in is sharing a testimony of what God has done. The right hand of the Lord is great. The right hand of the Lord. With the righteous, do it valiantly. I'm blessed. I'm happy. Yes. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. Exalted. Yes. The right hand of the Lord. Power. Right hand talks about his power. Exalt the Lord for his power. The right hand of the Lord do it valiantly. Specially greatly especially greatly the right hand of the Lord uh, Jesus I'm blessed I'm blessed we are blessed Amen. your presence is making me happy you are good 
Yes. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. I'm sure you are, you'll, be, you'll be happy to say this. You will say it seven times. Amen? Are you there? One, two, go. Number one. Number two. Number three. Number four. Number five. Now lay hand on yourself and say the last one. I shall not die, but live and declare the works of the Lord. With the mouth, confession is made unto salvation. Settled. You are safe from your problem. That fear of death is cancelled. You are dying no more. Don't listen to the voice of death anymore. Your by your mouth thou shalt be justified. Now you have justified yourself before God. You will live. Amen. The Lord had chastened me so, but he had not given me over unto death. Ah, this one. You offended God and God began to beat you. You offended God, God began to bully you. You offended God, God began to whip you. But he didn't give you over to death. Otherwise, he would have gone. There are people, he just killed them, he gave them over to death. But he didn't give you over to death. He, he's just chastising you. He's just chastising you. As a father does to the child he loves. But you are not giving over to death. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will go into them and I will praise the Lord. I will enter his gates with thanksgiving in my heart. I will enter his court with praise. Praise the Lord. I will say this is the day that the Lord as I will rejoice for he has made me glad. He has made me glad. I say I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Ah, he has made me glad. I am so glad. I will rejoice for he has made me glad. Righteousness gives joy. Righteousness provokes you to singing praises. Righteousness gives peace. Righteousness gives assurance. Open to me the gates of righteousness. I will enter there and be happy. And praise the Lord. I will serve the Lord and praise Him. Thank Him.
worship him. Yes. The gate, I mean, this gate of the Lord into which the righteous shall enter. The gate of the Lord. It is called the gate of righteousness. What wonder it is for a righteous man to find a righteous assembly. That you came and discovered a people that are serving the Lord with all their hearts. And you too have been serving the Lord with all your heart. You will jump into that church and say, I have come to my people. I will serve my God. I will sing and praise. I will rejoice. I have come to the congregation of the righteous. Because it's very difficult to find it. Very difficult to find the congregation of the righteous. And you found one. Open the door. I want to enter. I want to worship. The word of God is sweet to me to hear. I've been hungry for long. Yes. I've been hungry for long. Yes. I will praise thee for thou hast heard me and had become my salvation. I will praise thee. For thou hast heard me. When I prayed. When I fasted. When I went before you in a prayer retreat. And I, I just noticed that when I pray you here. And save me. I'm going to praise you because you are my salvation. You will save me from this matter. So what a, what a joy that every trouble of your life you bring to God. He will save you. He will save you. Every trouble. Every situation. Bring to the Lord. For the Lord will save you. Yes. The stone which the builders refused is become the head stone of the corner. The builders, not only one builder. This one came. I don't. Uh, this one came and said no. This one came and said no. We don't need this stone. They all said no. I could not find another stone. Then they came and re-examined that stone and discovered that there was something they couldn't see in that stone. They didn't see the other side of the stone. And now they have come to notice it is the fitting stone for the corner. They didn't examine it well. They didn't examine you well. They didn't see you well. They were at a rush. Don't bother. <laughs> Allow them to say no. They will all come back and say he's the one. Amen. Simple. They will come back. Don't argue the matter. They will come back. And say is the one. When they don't find any other one. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Today is the day. The day of the Lord. Amen. Amen. I say rejoice for this day, sister, the day of the Lord. Amen. Oh, yeah. 
I say rejoice my brother in the day of the Lord. Amen. Oh yeah. I say this time is the time. I say the time of the Lord. Amen. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. Not sorrow. The day the Lord chose to manifest himself in your life is the day of joy. The day the Lord chose to bless your life is the day of joy. The day the Lord magnified your life, used you. He told Joshua, this day will I begin to magnify thee in Israel. So that they should know that as I was with Moses, so I will be with thee. It's a day of gladness. The day the Lord rose up to heal you, what a day of joy. The day the Lord granted you that blessed desire. What a day of joy. This is the day which the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. So when you are entering a day, the Lord made that day. Enter it with joy. Be glad. The Lord made it. Believe the Lord will do you good in that day. In Jesus' name. Whenever I see King of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. I say whenever I see another breaking of the day, I say thank you. Save now, I beseech thee, O Lord, O Lord, I beseech thee, send now prosperity. Do you want prosperity? Do you want prosperity? Family prosperity. Spiritual prosperity. Social prosperity. Amen. Every round prosperity. Amen. Then cry to God according to verse 25. One, two, go. Send now prosperity. The Lord give you prosperity. Amen. God is the one that prospers. We believe him. Hey! So money is coming so much like this. Uh -huh. Oh, you people will be surprised what I would do with money. Because money is coming. You will see it and be surprised. 
I don't know. I don't, I'm not sure your own will be bigger than mine, but all together. <laughs> I'm telling you, this calm ground, I will make it like, uh, which part of America is very beautiful? Oh, like heaven call? Oh, new world. The world has the world is not okay now. I will make it like heaven. <laughs> Amen. God send now prosperity. Twenty six. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Amen children of the Lord, we bless you out of the house of the Lord. Amen. I am sitting here like Eli and I am saying to the children of God like Hannah, the Lord grant you the desire you have asked of him in Jesus name. Amen. You are blessed. God is the Lord which hath showed us light bind the sacrifice with cords even unto the horns of the altar. Hey! God showed us light. He said it. He said the whole world will be covered by darkness but I will arise. My light shall arise upon you. He has opened our eyes to know the truth. He has opened our eyes to know the way. He has opened our eyes to where we should go. We now see. The blind man say, one thing I know. Once I was blind, but now I see. God opened my eyes. Who opened your eyes? Who opened his eyes? Who opened his eyes? Jesus opened my eyes. Come, forget it. Give glory to God, but as for him, that man, we don't know where he came from. Eh? This is a marvelous thing. You mean you don't know where this man came from and the man opened my eyes? Wonderful. Since the world began, we have never heard that a sinner opened the eyes of a blind man. To you who he is, is a prophet. <laughs> Praise the Lord. My eyes are open. The person the Lord used to open my eyes, the God is with him. He's a man of God. The presence of God is with him. The word of God in his mouth is truth. Whatever you say, it's a prophet. It's a marvelous thing. You are doubting a man that is doing great, has done great things like this. I was in darkness. I couldn't see. In sin. Doomed for hell. But through his preaching, I got saved. Now my eyes have opened. You say you don't know him, I should forget him. No, 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 no. Since the world began, I've not heard that a sinner can do like this. Who is he? He is a prophet. Simple. A man sent by God. Yeah. That's what the Lord is saying. Blessed be he that cometh in the name of the Lord. We have blessed you out of the house of the Lord. Preachers that come in the name of the Lord. Teachers that come in the name of the Lord. They are blessed. The people of God are blessing them. 
Yeah. God is the Lord which had shot us light. It's God that shot us light that we are seeing and we are speaking now freely. Buying the sacrifice with cords even unto the, uh, unto the horns of the altar. Yes. Sacrifice of joy. Because of what the Lord has done. Sacrifice of joy. Buying it Lay it upon the Lord in the altar. God has done a good thing. Bless the name of the Lord. Bless the cause of God. Release of your substance and promote his ways. God has done wonderfully. He has done it. Thou art my God and I will praise thee. Thou art my God, and I will exalt thee. Everybody want to go. That is it. God is my God. I'm going to praise him. God is my God. I'm going to honor him. Yes. That's what I'm going to do. That's what I'm going to do. I'm going to thank him. Worship. Just begin to thank the Lord. Thank him, thank him, thank him. And forever you are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And forever you are God. Oh, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus, we bless your name. Jesus, we honor you. You are worthy. And forever you are God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And forever oh. Hallelujah. For this God is my God, is my God. And Rava.
Even on to the earth is our goal. I'm Sweet Jesus, sweet Jesus, how wonderful you are. You are brighter than the morning star, morning star. Let's rise up on our feet. Ganda lilies grow by the way you are precious more precious than gold sweet Jesus sweet Jesus how wonderful you are you are brighter than the morning star morning star Dan go the message you have just listened to is a production of Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide. Holiness Revival Movement Worldwide is a non-denominational ministry that is given to the propagation of Christ's righteousness and holiness in churches and nations of the world through crusades, revival meetings, production and spread of holiness literature and materials. For other spiritual materials, messages, or inquiries, contact us on 0816-902-3948 or 0805-683-4323. You can also reach us through our email address, Holiness Revival Movement at gmail.com God bless you For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him should not perish but have everlasting life For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved Hallelujah. Jesus, I believe in you. You are my Lord and Savior. I believe in you. You are the living Savior.
Jesus, I will 